One of the emerging young hitters in the National League. He's got two on with one out in the eighth. And he cranks the ball way back to right. Gorman breaks the tie. A three-run homer for Nolan Gorman. And the Cardinals take a 6-3 lead in the eighth inning. And another left-hander in his book. This time it's Victor Gonzalez. And what a good at-bat that was for Gorman. He took a strike that was down and away and then got a fastball down and in and hammered it. And he knew it right away. And there's a shot. Well tagged. That baby's going to go. Out of here. Home run off the bat of Yandy Diaz. A three-run blast. The Rays with two home runs in the inning, and they have a 4-0 lead. That ball jumped off the bat of Yandy Diaz. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Alonzo 4 for 11, including a homer against Snell. Alonzo smokes one to deep left center. Forget that. That is way out of here. Pete Alonzo gives the Mets the lead with his sixth home run of the year. That was a big boy home run. <laughs> oh, way beyond the 370 mark behind the Great Wall of Flushing. 431 feet worth of home run off the bat of Pete Alonzo. This guy is mashing the ball, seeing it well. 1-2 pitch to Devers. Swing and a high drive. If it's fair, it's gone. It is way back. It is fair, and it is out of here. Devers launches off of Strider. The Red Sox are on the board. It is three to one. Well, he went down to get that pitch, almost to one knee, off it out. Well, we said the first three innings were innings that Rafi Devers might want to forget, but how many times have we seen the last three innings really be some, something to remember for him? Uh, and this is one of those nights you need your superstar to do something special. He did. But one and two as Tonkin looks in to come set. There's the pitch that Jazz and he swings and he hits it high and deep. Come on, go, go, Grand Slam! Jazz, Chisholm, Jr. They're delirious here in Low Depot Park. I told you this place would go bananas if he was able to connect and hit one out of here. Make it do what he do, baby boy. Jazz Chisholm Jr. We're waiting on a 1 2 on the way. Swing a line drive. Base hit into center. Torkelson in. Haas around second. He will hold. Miguel Cabrera drives in a run here in the third. Tigers take a 3 1 lead. Well, the big man comes through. He tried to come inside with a fastball, and he did not miss it. The big man. Oh, and the crowd just loves it. Every. Single. I mean, we're still going to be tracking milestones because he's still passing guys on the all-time hit list. Right now, the Braves trying to take the lead. Orlando, deep left center. Gone. Or see you later. And Atlanta has a four-to-one lead. Their first hit since all the way back in the third inning and boy was it a big one what do we say back in the eighth brandon it's going to come down to maybe one mistake one pitch look at that center cut right down the middle india de la cruz lead the pitch bottle swings high in the air right field yes he pointed to the dunk Is this team fun or what? And this one is over. The Giants now have won nine straight. And once again, they come back from behind, down the game, 2-0, 3-1. And they've scratched and clawed they tied it up late and they win it in the bottom of the ninth with walks wow 
know they basically put Gurriel on base because you're not swinging the bat that well, but you still have to stay within yourself. And look at that. And a big old bat flip for Segura on the base hit down the line. It scores a run, and Gurriel moves to third. Marlins take a 2 nothing lead. You got to love it. You just have to love it. That Gur bat went 40 feet in the air. He took it personal. <laughs> He walking somebody to get to me. Okay, I got something for you. Fly ball, deep right field. That ball is out of here. A three-run shot for the ex-Philly. That breaks up the no-hitter and gets the Tigers on the board. Deep right field. That is a towering home run into the second deck. A three-run home run from Nick Maton against his former teammate. And the shutout, no hitter, all of it is gone. This ball heading for the bullpen and beyond. See you later, CJ. CJ Abrams, the former Padre, hits a two-run home run off you, Darvish. Down and in slider into the hot zone and. Everybody loved it. I think CJ loved it the most. That ball was smushed. 107 off the bat. You were saying we're going back to back. A belly bomb. And it's 3-1 and a long, slow trot for the former Dodger, Cody Bellinger. That has got to feel great. As Bellinger homers in his return to L.A. A mix of cheers and boos. Mom loving it. Cody Bellinger, welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Go ahead and run a third, but now two are down. A drive to left field. Back and gone. Ryan Jeffers, a pinch hit. Go ahead, two run homer. And the Twins surge in front. It's 7 5 at Target Field. Jeffers provides the seventh run tonight with a home run trot. A walk, a strut, a bat flip, and the Twins lead 7 5. A three run eighth inning. 2 and 2 against Ryan O'Hearn. 5 2 Blue Jays, eighth inning, their first and second. Pitch. Driven out to right field, it's deep. Back goes Springer to the track. He's looking up, and this ball game is tied up. Ryan O'Hearn, what a shot over the wall in right field. And Ryan at Rogers Center evens the score. Well, you know what we just said about Jordan Romano? He hasn't given up any runs at home until today. Five apiece, eighth inning, as Ryan O'Hearn with the blast of the day. And it's a high fly ball to right field. Going back to the wall and clear the deck. And there's the first cannonball for Andy Rodriguez. His first major league dinger. Comes here in Anaheim, California. And gives the Buccos a 3-0 lead. We've seen the ball jump here. We saw a bunch of them last night. That's the first homer of the night tonight. But Andy Rodriguez fouled off the fastball the pitch before it and I think he had a feeling that slider was coming back next pitch and he did a great job got the foot down and did not miss it. Canzone a towering fly ball Dom Canzone he times it off the windows his first home run as a Mariner in the most dramatic Exit below. He hit all of it. Towering fly ball out to right. And he drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Raley. That ball's out of here. And the game is tied. Off the facing of the second deck. Francisco Alvarez brings the Mets back from the brink with a three run homer in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game at five. The rookies have stepped front and center. Vientos a two-run homer in the seventh. Alvarez a three-run homer in the ninth.
ninth to get the Mets even. Creates so much power and leverage. Uh oh. And Carnacion Strand ends the night for the Reds. Another magic moment for a rookie in Cincinnati. Are you on board yet with the Reds? Because there's plenty of room on this boat. The one pitch that could really speed up the bat of the Encarnacion Strand is the slider, the sweeper. And on the hill for Boston, and a first pitch swinging, and a high drive to left field. J.D. Davis sends it down the line. It is fair. It is gone. It's a walk-off home run for J.D. Davis. And the Giants win it 3-2. to two. The ball game is over. J.D. Davis has given the Giants the walk-off victory. His teammates come pouring out of the dugout to jump all over the top of him and give him a drenching at home plate. And J.D. Davis immediately jumping on Kenley Jansen. Potential tying run at third, potential winning run at second. Payoff pitch. The Royals needed two, they got four on a walk-off grand slam by Bobby Witt Jr. And with the bases loaded and one out in the bottom of the 10th inning, he hits a walk-off grand slam, and the Royals win it 8-5. What a game. And Josh Palacios on his birthday! is loving this bucko he walks it off his first career homer walk off Josh Palacios gives the Pirates the win are you kidding me Derek Shelton played a hunch are you kidding me oh man Go raise the Jolly Roger Raise it high. Happy birthday. Have yourself a day, Josh Palacios. Three hit day. Cam to left. Back goes Cal. That's the ball game. Hassan Cam walks it off. Padres go back to back in the ninth. Win it five to four. They'll wait for him at the plate. It's time to celebrate. It doesn't get much better than that. A walk-off shot for ha Sung Kim. That's going to do it, folks. The 2-2. Out to right. G1 Bay. Hovers to win it. <laughs> Look at that, man. The Young Bucks dethrone the champs today. G1 Bay walks it off with a home run. Clear the deck with a cannonball. And his first career walk-off home run. First career walk-off hit. There is some specialness happening here with this ball club, and everyone is partaking in the party. The comeback kids do it again! Down 6-2, ninth inning magic! <laughs> the Reds' 19th comeback win of the year, only the Orioles have more. Home run derby, but 
It started here on this homestand. 413 feet and no downer into the seats in left. Home run number 12. RBIs 50 and 51. Halfway through the season, he's got a half a hundred. A go ahead two run homer for Mr. 91, who's headed to the home run derby, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Can on the first pitch. It's way back. It's going to be a salami. A grand slam. Mark Canna. An electrifying moment. On the first pitch. And it's 9-5. to five. Brew Crew in the eighth. Mark Canna. Backflip engaged. A grand slam. Infielders in at the corners, and Stott drives one to right. That's deep. That is gone. A grand slam for Stott. The brink just broke. Thanks to Brace and Stott's base clearing granny. He has lifted the roof off the building. And the Phillies have opened it up. They're on top seven to nothing. One, two, drilled, center field. Chasing back, Meckler, turning, looking, gone! It's a three-run homer, Christopher Morrell. And the Cubs lead it 10-6. He got a mistake, and it ended up down in the zone instead of up, and launches this ball out of the ballpark. Dead center, he knew it was gone the minute he touched it off. The wind gave it a little ride. I would say about a 430 foot blast. And the one two to Castellano. Swung on, hit in the air, blasted deep to left field. No doubt about this one. Into the foot of the second deck, a solo home run. Nick Castellanos has hit his second solo home run of the night and the Phillies are on top three to one. What a shot that was. Wow. And this place is exploding. Helmet off. He's greeted by his teammates near the top step. Wow. What a couple of games he's had. High drive, left field. Quan going back. Still running out of room. Look it up. Gone. Two run homer for Julio. Julio Rodriguez puts the Mariners in front, 5-3, to three, his second home run. RBI's 3-4, and four, big spot right here in the sixth inning. Great at bat by Julio Rodriguez. He fell behind on the count right away, 0-2, worked it to 2-2, fouled away a couple of pitches, and that thing had just enough to get over the tall wall and straight away left field. There's a drive to right. Juan Soto stares it down. It is long. told you, Wayne, I said it earlier about that cutter, and he missed one earlier in the ball game. This is the same pitch in the same exact spot, and against a hitter as hot as he is, hitting 360, coming into the ball game, you cannot make a mistake to him, especially over the last two weeks, the damage he's been doing. Man, you hit that ball in right field like that, that baseball is not coming back. 2-2 oh. pitch, he got that one! Slam! Ronda Lacuna! The first member of the 30-homer, 60-stolen base club gets there with a grand slam. Wow! Put that on the MVP file. Dodger Stadium. Meet Ronald Acuna for the first game of this series. Ice cold in his vein for number 13. Impressive. 2-2 fastball up in the zone. Don't let, don't let him get extended now. Oh, he sure did. To Del Marte, if it's fair, and it is, and this ball is way gone. Was that ball ever launched? That was a cut fastball inside, and 108 miles an hour later, that's almost 
over that first little depth. And this crowd really going bonkers now. A launch by Marte, and it's 2-0 Diamondbacks. Marte hit 25 during the season, and that was a tape measure shot. Same pitch, it looks like. Yeah, just a cutter that he never got in, just a spinner over the middle of the plate. Right field, Hayward toward the line, near the foul pole, fair ball, home run. Now Hayward may be saying a replay is worth a look. It is confirmed, foul ball, 2-2 two -two count. Ball. Counts 2-2 two on, two on Moreno on the pitch from Lynn. And a shot to left center field. Back she goes. Are you kidding me? Gabby Marino hits it out anyway, and it's 4-0 Diamondbacks. And Lance Lynn is just kind of staring out at center field. Have you ever seen that, Candy? I never. He's just, he's befuddled right now. Have you ever seen a hitter hit one foul that they reviewed? It was overturned. And then the very next pitch, he is homered again. Four of them in the inning. Could tie it with one swing. Field is on its feet for Corey Seager. A two run homer in Seawald as his first blown save of the postseason. The first run scored off him. And it's a new game in the bottom of the ninth. Corey knew the moment he hit it, it was a fastball that may have been above the zone. That pitch was up and he crushed it and displayed the kind of emotion that we saw when he homered in the first inning of game seven at Houston. De La Cruz trying to add to it. He crushes. Upper deck, right center. Make that 94. A De La Cruz missile. He sizzled it into the second deck. A 5-1 Reds lead. Oh. Ooh. It's all about the knob, I guess, huh? Okay. So he's got that in it. He hit the tar out of that thing. <laughs> His fourth home run of the year. First and third one out. Rangers trailing two to one. Adolis Garcia swings and hits one high and deep into left field. McCormick is back at the wall. It is gone. Gone. Adolis Garcia who slams his bat down midway between home and first. Now starts to take his trot. A three run. Jimmy Jack here for Adolis Garcia to put Texas in front, four to two. First pitch fastball that was in. And Adolis able to turn on that 95 mile an hour pitch. His fourth home run this postseason, his second in this series, and this place has exploded. He battles, man, I'm telling you. High drive, deep center field. Back goes Thomas. At the wall, it's gone! Nando! Two-run shot for Fernando Tatis Jr. 4 nothing Padres. Hanger. Yeah, we talk about mistakes. That was a mistake, and Fernando, I, I love the reaction. I mean, everybody knows it's gone, especially Fernando. And then when he looked at his teammates on the bench, that sealed the deal. This Fernando mania in San Diego, thanks to Tatis's 20th home run of the season, and San Diego's blown it open with four runs in the eighth. Fernando Tatis Jr. squares this ball up, and he knew it immediately off the bat. There's a fly ball, left center field. Did he get it up? He flips the bat. There is no one like him. Shohei, no moment big enough. Shohei goes yard, tied up. Wow, showtime.
And, and a message. great bat flip, too, by the way. Wait, no, it's epic. The message very clearly sent that that man is the best player in the world. He's going on Gwen Stefani's Instagram. Yes. Love that bat flip. Going 106.5. Bat flip about 106.5. Going 403 feet for Shohei. Wow. <laughs> yes. I love that reaction by Andrew Velasquez going, wow.